Hello from nowhere. E thought that living in the middle of nowhere was better than living anywhere else in the world. But she was never lonely. Louie waited patiently under the salt brush for her every morning. Livestock rubbed her against her leg when she called into the kitchen. He had to stay indoors so his nose and his so his ears and the nose didn't get sunburned. Which meant he was good to play with on a hot hot day. And Brian made her laugh when she went out to service station, flapping his wings and fighting with his reflection in the petrol pumps. There were always plenty of people around. The bus brought everyone from everywhere who came twice a day. It brought Honey with her pretty hair and Jono with his soccer ball. It brought Gunfa with his music, Richard with his swirling tattoos, and Sakura with her paper flowers. Caravans brought grandparents setting off on a new adventures. And trucks brought truck drivers with their stories and jokes. Even when there was no one around at all, it didn't matter. Eve liked to run and have time just to run and to lie on a warm, flat rock, feeling the magic swirl all around her. Only one thing made Eve sad. She hadn't seen Nan since they left the city long ago. Nan won't come out here. Dad told her she thinks it's the back of beyond. Eve wondered if there was anything she could do to change Nan's mind. Then one day she had an idea. Dear Nan, I miss you. I hope you can come and visit me on the day. Love, Eve, Nan. Eve tried not to get her hopes up. But with every day that grew by her heart were heavier and heavier. Then one day the bus pulled in. Nan called Eve. Nan held her arms out wide and Eve gave her the biggest hug she had ever given anyone. At last Nan could see all the things Eve longed to show her. She met patient Bluey and they found lazy livestock and silly funny bride made Nan laugh until she cried. She met travellers from around the world as well as the ones from up the road. But best of all she got to feel the magic one morning, Eve woke Nan up with the sun, and together they watched 200 kangaroos sipping dew in the long grass that grew hard next to the highway. And one day, they stayed up late, and from down under the dirt red airstrip, they watch, watched the universe go by. Sharing everything with Nan, made Eve so happy that when it came time for her to go, she couldn't bear it. Nan wrapped her arms around her and held her close. Then, very quietly, she said, Don't worry, love. Now I know what no that nowhere is so beautiful, I can't wait to come again.